Good day, brethren. You're welcome to RCC Junior Covenant Parish's Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father and the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. A. De Boy. And I pray that as you join me today, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, 21st July 2024, we are looking at the topic, Elders are Wise. A memory verse is taken from Job chapter 12, verse 12, which says, With the ancient is wisdom, and the length of day, days is understanding. Our text is taken from Exodus 18, from verses 13 to 24. And it came to pass on the morrow that Moses sat to judge the people, and the people stood by Moses from the morning unto the evening. And when Moses' father-in-law saw all that he did to the people, he said, What is this thing that thou doest to the people? Why sittest thou thyself alone? And all the people stand by thee from morning unto evening. And Moses said unto his father-in-law, Because the people came unto me to inquire of God. When they have a matter, they come unto me, and I judge between one and another, and I will do make them know the statutes of God and his laws. And Moses' father-in-law said unto him, the thing that thou doest is not good. Thou will surely wear away, both thou and this people that is with thee. For this thing is too heavy for thee. Thou art not able to perform it thyself alone. Hearken now unto my voice. I will give thee counsel, and God shall be with thee. Be thou for the people to God, word, that thou mayest bring the causes unto God. And thou shalt teach them all these ordinances and laws, and shalt shew them the way wherein they must walk, and the work that they must do. Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people able men, such as fear God, men of truth, eating covetousness, and place over us, over us, and place such over them to be rulers of thousands and rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties and rulers of tens. And let them judge the people at all seasons, and it shall be that every great matter they shall bring unto thee, but every small matter they shall judge. So shall it be easier for thyself and they shall bear the burden with thee. If thou shalt do this thing, and God command thee so, then thou shalt be able to endure, and all these people shall also go to their place in peace. So Moses hearkened to the voice of his father-in-law, and did all that he said. If you have elders around you, you have real wisdom around you, and you should learn from their wealth of wisdom. There are certain things that elders know that Google, as vast as it is, does not know. The elders have some alternative treatments for sicknesses and diseases that modern science has not caught up with yet. There are some experiences that they have, they have when it comes to relating with other people that you cannot learn in any book or, or university. If you take care of your elders and learn from them, there's a lot you will know and have as an advantage over your peers. In your land, when we see a child behave, behaving wisely, we call him or her omoagba, meaning the child of an elder because we know straight away that he or she must have learned a lot from an elderly person. So in our passage today, we're looking at the fact that elders are wise, and we are being told that the elders have real wisdom that even our current technology does not have access to. There are things the elders know, there are experiences that they've passed through that have resulted in wisdom that they can share with um, younger folks and that and those younger folks will also will be wise. With all of Moses' education in Egypt, the greatest nation in those days, his father-in-law Jethro was the one who taught him a valuable lesson about delegation. Moses got the best leadership education in the world and thought he was a good leader until he was exposed to an elder's wisdom. Jethro's counsel showed him that he was not that wise after all. You may think you are wise because you are educated and have the internet at your fingertips, but if you listen to the elders, you will discover a lot of truths that will really help you in life. So, Moses, even though he was a great leader, he had you know, been educated in Egypt, which was the greatest nation in the world at that time. Uh, he was educated in the palace. So he had access to leadership materials, to um, being taught by the finest teachers of his day. But yet, one of the greatest lessons he learned was from his father-in-law, who taught him about delegation. So you may think that you have all the information, you know it all, or the way you are doing things are the best. Sometimes you need some advice, you need some insight from some people 
with even more experience than you. Typically, someone who has, you know, passed through this world way longer than uh, you have been. When an elder advises you, take that advice dearly because what you do with it could be the difference between success and failure. In 1 Kings chapter 12, verse 6, King Rehoboam met with elders on, on how to rule the people. They gave him advice which was filled with wisdom. However, he went to meet his younger friends for advice, and because there seems more exciting, he pushed aside the advice of the elders. Uh, the elders. Rehoboam's actions caused a civil war, and he lost the kingdom of Israel, as we see in verses 18 and 19. The, mem- the, the, the passage says, Then King Rehoboam sent Adoram, who was over the tribute, and all Israel stoned him with stones that he died. Therefore, King Rehoboam made speed to get him up to his chariot to flee to Jerusalem. So Israel rebelled against the house of David unto this day, never despised the advice of godly elders. So another example that was given to us was that of Rehoboam. When he ascended the throne of his father, he met with the elders who had served his father, who had experience in governance, and asked them what to do. And those elders told him what to do. But then he decided to reject the advice and called for the advice of his friends who gave him what seemed like an exciting advice. And that led to a civil war and the kingdom was torn away from him. So let us honor our elders. Let us listen to our elders. Let us listen to the wisdom that they have. As long as it's in line with the will of God, as long as it's in line with God's instructions, let us accept the advice of our elders. They have wisdom that we cannot buy in the market, wisdom that even technology, no matter how good it is, cannot offer us. I pray that God will help us to be wise and to tap into the wisdom of the elders in Jesus' name. Our action point says, write a list of godly elders that you have around you and start taking care of them and spending time with them from now. You will learn a lot from them before they go to be with the Lord. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word to us today. Lord, we ask that you help us to humble ourselves before our elders. And we ask that you surround us with godly elders that will give us godly wisdom so that we can succeed in life in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.